There are 3,000 items now in Fortnite, but in this video, guys, I'm going to show you 29 Fortnite items you need to buy. These are going to be the best items for Chapter 4 Season 4, and of course, Chapter 5 as well. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know what your favorite item is. But let's get straight into it, and we're starting off with the Studded Axe. This has to be one of the best pickaxes Fortnite has ever introduced. You can actually pick this up for only 800 V-Bucks, which is such a good price, but I feel like Fortnite could definitely improve this pickaxe by adding in a second edit style. We obviously have pickaxes like the Lawless pickaxe, which was part of a battle pass. It does look really, really clean, but obviously that wasn't an edit style for the studded axe, but if it was, it would have made it a lot better. This pickaxe is also known throughout the tryhard community as being literally the most quiet pickaxe in the history of the game, and that is why so many pros and streamers love it. It almost makes no sound when you are using it, and it is also going to fit in with every single skin in your locker. One of those skins that you need to use with this, though, is going to be Wildcard. Wildcard is a little bit more expensive than the Studded Axe coming in at 2,000 V-Bucks. It has been one of the more expensive skins in the game, but I actually think Fortnite has made this a lot better over the last few seasons, and it is definitely worth buying. We have four different base edit styles. You can literally just customize the actual card that is shown on the Wildcard skin, but they finally added in a new edit style of this, which is a green edit style, which actually looks really cool. If you guys don't actually like the default Wildcard skin though, you can can always buy the double agent bundle instead, and that is also going to include a double agent wildcard, which a lot of you guys might actually prefer. I still think this skin is definitely worth buying today, though. It can be known as a tryhard skin, but I just think it's a really good skin that everyone should have, and it fits in with the theme of this season absolutely perfectly. Another pickaxe that will probably fit in perfectly with this skin, though, is going to be the Scully Scepter. The Scully Scepter is going to be one of the cheapest items on this list, coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. I think this is one of the best pickaxes in the game as well. It reminds me a lot of the Star Wand, but it is a bone version of this, which a lot of people actually prefer. I feel like it has started to drop off in popularity a little bit over the last few weeks, though. I still really like this, and it can definitely be known as a try-hard pickaxe and a mean pickaxe as well, which is what a lot of people are actually looking for. I feel like it's going to fit in with every single skin in your locker as well, but maybe just because we only have one style of this pickaxe, people are already getting sick of it. You can definitely make some really good combos with this, and I feel like it depends on your playstyle whether you make this a tryhard or a mean pickaxe, but it is also good for casual players as well if you don't really take Fortnite too seriously anymore. Since we are getting close to Fortnite Mans, though, hopefully we can get a Halloween-themed Star Wand or a Scully Scepter edit style. I think that would be so, so clean, but we may as well talk about a Fortnite Mans skin that will be returning, and this is Shadow Midas. We all know that Midas has been one of Fortnite's best ever skins, and we have seen so many edit styles of Midas being added to the game with their own skin, including Midsummer Midas, Midas Rex, and of course, Shadow Midas. There are some really amazing skins, but since a lot of those are never really available in the store, I feel like Shadow Midas is definitely a skin you need to buy today. If it isn't available right now, it should be returning over the next few weeks as the Fortnite Mares update does arrive during Chapter 4, Season 4. I'm so looking forward to this. I think it is going to be so much fun, and Shadow Midas is the perfect skin to use during this update. There are are just some absolutely incredible skins that we do see in Fortnite Mares, but it is hard to compare a lot of them with the Shadow Miner skin, but make sure to let me know if you guys already own this in the comments down below. We haven't really talked about too many backblings just yet, so let's move on to one of the best in the game, and this is the Rainbow Clover. The Rainbow Clover has been one of the most tryhard backblings we have ever seen in Fortnite. A lot of pros and streamers have been using this over the last few years, but I feel like so many people just aren't using backblings anymore that it is actually quite rare to see this being used today. A lot of people still use this with skins like Aura and the superhero skins, and maybe even Kaiba as well, but personally I feel like a lot of skins do just start to look better with no back bling, but if you are going to use a back bling, then the Rainbow Clover is definitely one that you need to try. Let's move on though to our next item, and this is Serenade. Serenade is a really underrated skin in Fortnite. It is also one of my personal favorites, and I've been using this skin a lot over the last few weeks. We don't really see too many other people using Serenade, and that is why I thought it would be perfect to include in this video because not only is this a really good item shop skin, but also so well designed. It doesn't really fit in with the theme of chapter four though. It would have fitted in perfectly with the chapter three theme, which was Chrome. I think that would have been a perfect time to add this skin to the game, but for some reason, Fortnite decided to add 
add this in chapter 4. I still really like this though, it would be cool to see some other edit styles where maybe they change the chrome to a gold or even a red crimson effect that could just customize the skin in a few ways and make it a lot better. One really good pickaxe to match this with though is going to be the driver. This is one of the cheapest items in the game as well, coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. A lot of people have absolutely been loving this, I am a huge fan of this as well, but I just wish we had some more styles of this. The driver is one of the best all-time pickaxes, it's going to fit in with every single skin in your locker as well, because the design of this is just so simplistic. It doesn't really have an overly detailed design, it isn't so big and bulky that it takes up the entire screen, and I think because of that it just makes it even better. There really aren't too many skins that aren't going to work with the driver, I feel like there are like 1,500 skins now in Fortnite, and all of them are going to work with this pickaxe. But there are definitely some more tryhard pickaxes coming up very, very soon, so make sure you guys stick around for them. That takes us to the number 22 position, guys, and we have Skeletara. We are again going with a Fortnite Mares skin or a Halloween-themed skin because Fortnite Mares is just around the corner. Even though this is a really good skin, the reason that I ended up choosing this is because this is a remake of the Renegade Raider. Now, even though we aren't really including the Renegade Raider in this video because you will never be able to buy it again, a lot of the Renegade Raider remakes are also in a similar position. We obviously have the FNCS Renegade, which is never going to be available again, Blaze and the Gingerbread Raider, and just a lot of other Renegade Raider remakes never really appear in the store, but one that would definitely appear soon is Skeletara. I also really like this skin, I think it has a really clean design, and would have to be one of the best Renegade Raider remakes that we do have in Fortnite. It has been a sweaty skin in the past, and a little bit of a casual skin as well, and I think that is always really good to see. It's always annoying when you see skins that have become extremely tryhard, and a lot of people actually get turned off by this, just because they feel like they aren't actually good enough to use it. I think this is a really good skin for you guys to start using today though, especially with Fortnite Mares just around the corner, it's going to make it even better, and could hopefully become one of the best Fortnite Mares skins that we do see this year. One pickaxe that you could use with all of these skins that we have talked about so far though is going to be Leon's Combat Knife. There are a few reasons why I absolutely love this pickaxe and why I think you guys need to buy it today. Firstly, this only costs 500 V-Bucks, so it is one of the cheapest collab pickaxes that we do have in the game. Usually a lot of collab pickaxes cost anywhere from 1,000 V-Bucks all the way up to 1,500 V-Bucks, and a lot of them are also bundle exclusives, which means you have to end up buying a skin in order to get the pickaxe. But Leon's Combat Knife can be bought on its own for 500 V-Bucks, which is so, so good. But you can also make this even better better, and that is because this is going to work with every single skin in your locker, and it is also one of the smallest pickaxes in the game right now. A lot of people do prefer to use smaller pickaxes just so it takes up less of their screen, and it allows them to not only see the game a little bit better, but also see opponents a lot easier as well. If you are using a big and bulky pickaxe, then it might get in the way a lot, and I feel like that is why Leon's Combat Knife has been so popular in Chapter 4. I cannot recommend this enough, and if you guys are going to pick this up, make sure to use code KyroYT. But let's move on guys to the number 20 position and we are including the last laugh bundle. Yes guys, it is pretty uncommon for us to include entire bundles in this video, but we just had to do it because the last laugh bundle is the perfect starter bundle for you guys to buy in Fortnite. If you guys are new to the game or you have been playing for a while and don't really own too many items, then I feel like the last laugh bundle is going to be perfect for you. It is definitely quite expensive and it does cost real money instead of V-Bucks. It is going to set you back around $30, but honestly, I think it is really worth it. You get a Poison Ivy skin, which is one of the more underrated skins in the game. You get a Joker skin with a bunch of different edit styles, which is one of my all-time favorite skins. You also get Midas Rex, which would have to be in my top 10 Fortnite skins of all time. It just looks so, so clean and is easily one of the coolest looking skins as well, along with a bunch of other pickaxes in this bundle as well. You get the Bad Joke and of course the Joker's Revenge, which are some of the coolest looking pickaxes. But because this bundle was so expensive, not that many people ended up buying it. If you guys did though, I'm sure you have been using these items today just because of how good this actually is, but let's move on to our next item that is going to be a lot cheaper, and this is the Old Chopper. The Old Chopper is only going to set you back 500 V-Bucks, so it is a lot cheaper than the Last Laugh Bundle, but I still think it is really worth buying today. It is sort of a Winterfest themed pickaxe, so you probably won't see it returning to 
actually store that often and might have to wait a few more months in order to get it. It is a really good pickaxe, so we only have one edit style for this, but I still feel like because this is quite a simplistic pickaxe, it is going to fit in with all of your favorite skins and of course make them extremely try hard as well. We have seen some pros and streamers using this over the last few weeks, especially the X2 twins. I feel like this skin is perfect for all of the highly customizable skins as well, like the superhero skins and caper, but we're just going to have to wait and see if this does start to get more popular in the future. We probably won't see too many people using this with their next skin though, and this is the Chaos Explorer. This is an 800 V-Bucks skin. It is also one of the newer skins in the game that was added towards the end of Season 3. I absolutely love the way this looks, and we have so many other Chaos Explorer styled skins in Fortnite, so we may as well include them as well. This includes the Chaos Agent, the Chaos Double Agent, and of course the Chaos Origin skin. I feel like Fortnite could have included all of these together as just one skin with a bunch of different edit styles, but instead they decided to just make a bunch of different skins. That is sort of strange. I feel like a lot more people would be using this today if it was an edit style for one of the more original skins, but still I really like this and definitely think it is worth using today. Let's move forward the guys to a pickaxe that is going to fit in with all of these skins and these are the katanas. There are just way too many katanas to name in Fortnite. We have like five different katanas that are extremely popular, but there might even be more than 10 different katanas now in the game. Since there are so many different katanas in Fortnite, I feel like it is worth just including all of them in at this position. It would be way too hard to include all of my favorite ones and all of the ones that I think you guys should own. So really it is up to you on which one you want to buy. Personally, I think Michelle katana would have to be one of the best it just has such a simplistic design and does look really really clean but there are some other really good ones as well that i just don't use as much as i should because they are quite simplistic as well they should fit in with every single one of your favorite skins and a lot of them do have a custom animation as well which just makes them even better let's move forward though guys to another back bling in fortnite and this is the power pack similar to what i was saying with the rainbow clover we don't really see too many people using back blings on their skins anymore, especially in the more competitive game modes and tournaments. The power pack though is something that I do see quite a bit. I feel like a lot of people not only in power use this because they sort of have to, but also a lot of people that support power are going to be using this back bling. Personally, I really like it. I think it is one of the cleanest back blings in Fortnite. It also has a really simplistic design, so it is going to work with all of your favorite skins. And more often than not, it is going to make that skin look better. Since a lot of people don't really use back blings anymore, this could also be a good way to make you guys stand out with every single skin. Obviously, everyone has been using skins like the superhero skins and caper, but if you guys want to make sure that you stand out just that little extra bit, then pairing it with something like the power pack could easily do that. If you were going to spend your V-Bucks on something though, I feel like it might be better spent on the Vault Guardian. This is one of the best pickaxes that we have seen in Fortnite. It is going to set you back 500 V-Bucks as well, which I actually think is a pretty good price for a pickaxe this well designed. There are a bunch of pickaxes that look similar to this, including the Crowbar, the Gold Crow, and the Bold Bar, but in my opinion, the Vault Guardian is the best one so far. This is actually a limited edition exclusive pickaxe as well. A lot of people thought this was never going to return to the game after it featured in the store during chapter 4 season 1 but since the theme of this season is heist and the heist game mode is so popular Fortnite decided to add this back and I think that was a really good choice. A lot of people have been loving this as well but one skin that also fits in with the theme of this season perfectly is Marigold. We've already talked about a few styles of Midas already so it just makes sense that we include the female style of this skin on this list as well. Marigold is one of my favorite skins. It is a bundle skin though, so it is going to set you back around $10. I feel like it would be a lot more popular if this was just a regular item shop skin, but for whatever reason, Fortnite decided to include this as a bundle skin. They obviously thought that was going to be more successful. We do have a few different styles of this now in the game as well. We have a default style. There is also a reactive style where it turns more golden with the more eliminations you get. And there is now a new blue edit style for this as well, which does look really cool. I feel like that is the more underrated style. The golden styles are still going to be my favorites, but if you do want a pickaxe that is going to work with this skin perfectly and with every single style of this, then I highly recommend trying out the Icebreaker. I honestly don't really need to talk about the Icebreaker too much because I've featured it on the channel so many times before. It reminds me a lot of the driver in some aspects. It also costs only 500 V-Bucks as well, similar to the driver. It has a really simplistic design and is going to work with all of your favorite skins, similar to 
to the driver as well, and it has been one of the best pickaxes Fortnite has ever added. The driver was added during Chapter 1 Season 5 though, and the icebreaker has been in the game since the very beginning, Chapter 1 Season 1. So there are definitely some OG players watching this video right now that have owned this literally since Fortnite began. I'm a huge fan of this pickaxe though, I just wish Fortnite would add some more color styles for this, I think that would make it a lot better, and maybe even a darker edit style would also make it really, really good. We do see a lot of people using this with our next skin as well, and this is Siren. Now, usually Siren would be featuring up a lot higher on this list, but since it has started to drop off over the last few seasons, I feel like the number 12 position is a good spot for this. Obviously, with a skin that has been so popular for such a long time, when people start to get sick of it, usually they are going to stop using it entirely, and that has happened with Siren. I feel like people just use this for so many years and so many seasons every single day that they just finally wanted to change it around to some of the more interesting and newer skins in the game, and that is why we don't see too many people using it anymore. It is still known as a very tryhard skin though, and is going to be one of the best skins Fortnite has ever added to the game. So if you are looking for a tryhard skin, then Siren is going to be a perfect choice. If you guys are a fan of this but want to use some different edit styles, then it might be worth buying the Agency Renegades bundle. This is a bundle that is going to set you back around $20. It is really, really good though because Fortnite has basically remade two of the sweatiest skins of all time with a bunch of brand new edit styles. We have Spy Catcher Siren and Shady Zadie. We did also get a remake of the Cobalt skin in this, but I've never seen anyone using it, so it's not even worth talking about. You do also get some pickaxes in this bundle as well, but most people just buy this bundle for the skin. I think the skins are the best part of this. They just look so, so clean, and it has to be one of my favorite bundles of all time. Similar to the Last Laugh bundle, though, because you did have to buy this with money instead of just V-Bucks, I feel like a lot of people missed out on actually buying this, and that is the main reason why we don't see people using these skins in Chapter 4, Season 4. Let's move on, though, to the number 10 position, guys, and we have the Nadar Buddy. This is the final back bling that we are talking about in this video. It might not be the sweatiest back bling in the history of Fortnite, but it would have to be one of my favorites. I just think this is such a good meme back bling, and we don't really see too many people using sweaty back blings anymore, so a meme back bling might be the way to go. It just looks so, so clean. I think this is one of the cutest back blings we've ever seen in the history of Fortnite as well. So if you guys don't already have this, make sure you do pick it up the next time it's in the store. Let's move on though, guys, to the number nine position, and we have Chani. Now, usually I don't really want to include some crossover items in these videos because we just don't know if these ever going to return to the store but Chani should definitely be reappearing soon because a second June movie could release at any time they have already finished filming this it was supposed to release basically around now but it has ended up being delayed until 2024 regardless though Chani is definitely going to feature in the item shop again I think this is going to be one of the more tryhard skins when it does get reintroduced it is really only featured in the item shop two or three times and we still see quite a few pro and sweaty players using it so i feel like next time it's in the store it is just going to become even more popular and try hard as well i would have loved to see some edit styles for this though i think they could have made it a lot cooler with some different styles so hopefully that is something that fortnite does look at adding when the next movie releases let's move forward though guys to the number eight position and we have the star one this is by far one of the sweatiest items we have seen in the history of fortnite but similar to siren i feel like it has started to drop off over the last few seasons this has been in Fortnite since Chapter 1, Season 8. So it is definitely one of the oldest items in this video, and I feel like so many people have been using it that they are just starting to get sick of this pickaxe. If Fortnite did add some different styles for this, maybe just some different color variations of it, then a lot of people would start to use it again. But even though it has started to drop off, it is still one of the best pickaxes in the history of Fortnite, and one of the most tryhard ones as well. I feel like one pickaxe that a lot of pros and streamers are preferring to use, though, is the Harley Hitter. This has actually started to become a lot more popular over the last few seasons again. A lot of people have always loved this. I have always been a massive fan of this, but I feel like it sort of lacked in popularity during Chapter 3 and Chapter 2, but now that we are in Chapter 4, a lot of people have started to use this again, and it is quickly becoming one of the more popular pickaxes in the history of the game. My only problem with this is that we just have one style for this. We have two different Harley Quinn skins in the game, but only one style for the Harley Hitter. I feel like when when Fortnite did add Rebirth Harley Quinn to the game, then they should have definitely added in a secondary edit style. I know it is a little bit different to add in a secondary edit style of the Harley Hitter, but maybe just a color style that is fully red would have been really, really cool. 
but obviously that didn't happen. I also don't think this is going to happen anytime soon, so we may as well move on to our next item, guys, and this is one of the newer skins in the game, which is Countess Duraku. I've actually talked about this skin quite a few times already. It is going to be one of the best skins moving forward, and it is sort of the starter pack skin for Season 4. Obviously, you guys can buy this right now, but if you guys are watching this when Chapter 5 of Fortnite is out, then this isn't going to be available again, so make sure you guys do pick this up if you are watching it right now during Chapter 4 Season 4. It probably won't be too expensive. It is one of the cleanest skins we've seen in a long time as well, and we do have two different styles for this, but all the styles do is take the glasses on or off. They could have definitely added in some different color variants for this. I think Fortnite should be doing this with every single skin that does get added to the game now. It is a little bit strange to only get a skin with one different major style, but regardless, I think this is going to be one of the best skins moving forward. A pickaxe is going to match this really well, though, is going to be the Cold Snap. The Cold Snap has actually been one of the more underrated pickaxes in the history of Fortnite, and it has made a little bit of a comeback over the last few weeks because this was included with Clix's Locker Bundle. We all know that Clix is by far one of the most influential Fortnite players in the world, so whenever he starts using items, they are going to become popular. What I absolutely love about the Cold Snap, though, is that this is one of the most unique pickaxes in the history of Fortnite. It doesn't really look like it should be a try-hard pickaxe either. It just looks so, so clean and is one of the best designed pickaxes we've seen in a long time. I feel like a lot of people didn't actually realize this pickaxe existed until Clix's Locker Bundle was finally added to the game, but now that it is here, it does not disappoint. I have been loving this pickaxe over the last few weeks, and hopefully you guys have been as well. If you are looking for a skin to pair this with, though, you can always pick the superhero skins. What I love about the Cold Snap is that it is actually quite detailed for a pickaxe, so when you are choosing a skin for this, more often than not, you want to choose one of the more simplistic skins in the game. The superhero skins are obviously one of these. They do this really, really well, but you can also make some very detailed edit styles as well, and I also think these do work quite well with the Cold Snap. The superhero skins are quite expensive, though, coming in at 1,800 V-Bucks. They have been some of the more popular and try-hard items that we have ever seen in Fortnite, though, and I don't think that is going to change anytime soon. They have started to drop off in popularity just a little bit over the last few weeks, and that is for a very good reason that we are going to talk about very, very soon. But right now, guys, we need to move on to the best pickaxe in Fortnite, and this is the Leviathan Axe. Now, even though this has been available in the item shop in the past for a 1,000 V-Bucks, we actually don't know if this is ever going to return to the game. I absolutely love this pickaxe. I think it is so, so sick, and it was one of the first ever crossover pickaxes that not only was reactive, but also had a custom animation to it as well. This is only featured in the item shop once, though, and that was back during Chapter 2, Season 5, so if you guys are waiting for this to return, hopefully it can return over the next few weeks. But now it is time to talk about the best skin in Fortnite at the moment, and this is Caper. Yes, guys, Caper has finally been introduced to Fortnite. This skin was leaked all the way back during Chapter 4, Season 1, and we had to wait three seasons for this to finally be added to the game. Obviously, it fits in with the theme of this season perfectly. I've been loving this skin as well over the last few weeks, to the point now where this is actually becoming more popular and try-hard than these superhero skins. I think that is so, so good. I love all of these highly customizable skins that Fortnite are introducing, and I never thought a skin would finally be added to the game that was more popular than the superhero skins, but somehow Caper actually is. I'm sure you guys have already been using these as well, though, and surprisingly, this isn't the best item to buy in Fortnite right now, and that is because this is the Chapter 4 Season 4 Battle Pass. Yes, guys, I am including the entire Battle Pass in at the number one position. I think this is the best thing that you guys can buy in Fortnite today. Not only do you get a bunch of different skins, pickaxes, back blings, gliders, emotes, and so much more for such a cheap price, but I just think this is one of the best battle passes we've seen in a really long time. You can get all of this for only 950 V-Bucks, which is just so insane to think about, and it is one thing that I'm sure you guys already have bought. But there you guys go, that is my list for the 29 best items that you need to buy in Fortnite today. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what item you have been using, and of course, what item you are going to be buying in the next few weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching, and click on the video on your screen now.